Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. Uh, we're going to cover in this video the coverage of uh, Sikh events, uh, which usually takes place in the United Kingdom, and uh, what regularly happens with the mainstream media covering our events, uh, especially the BBC. We have seen it again and again. There's a pattern being forming in the coverage which the Sikhs are, are receiving within UK. If it's anything negative, if it's anything remotely negative towards the community, uh, demonizing the community, make, making the community look extremist, making the community look uh, any downside, and it's always being put right up on their nonsense, you know, radio channels, BBC Asia. And that Hindu extremist Nihal, a, a, a paid patsy, is always covering and giving his leftist nonsense uh, about how Sikhs are extremists in UK, how we are all the entire community is full of terrorists, this, that, the other. Whilst when it comes to covering up, uh, co uh, covering up all their nonsense, they are always doing this again and again, and uh, we see it uh, year after year. Uh, time after time when it comes to covering the basic issues of the Sikh community we get no coverage whatsoever within this so-called media uh, the, uh, the, uh, the media is pretending that the Sikh community doesn't even exist within the UK this is the kind of coverage we are getting uh, we saw uh, June 9th a massive protest took outside um, uh, Parliament around uh, 30,000 Sikhs from all across uh, in uh, UK came together to remember the genocide of the community and uh, a demand of uh, the Sikh nation for self-determination and a homeland of Khalistan and there was a massive rally and what does these so-called media organizations do? No coverage. No coverage whatsoever. When it comes to covering the truth, there is no coverage whatsoever. We saw this uh, not so long ago uh, when there was a protest arranged uh, by in favor of Lee, uh, the soldier who was uh, uh, brutally murdered by extremists outside an army barracks. Uh, there was a protest by in favor of uh, the soldier and uh, against by the UF whatever the leftist organization and Sikhs were stranded in the middle and it was deliberately arranged by the media and generally and that even in that that was designed in a way to you know the whole thing was to to again to stop the protest which was going outside uh, 10 Downing Street and the whole attempt was made to crush that protest by having a big massive you know conflict between the protesters and the Sikh community being set up in the middle and the protest outside 10 Downing Street is now been going on for nearly five months and we have received again no coverage whatsoever it shows you there's a pattern there's a pattern that they they are pretending that the Sikh community in UK doesn't exist, and uh, as Sikhs themselves, first thing foremost, we have to create our own media. We have to create our own independent media. We can't rely on any of these, uh, even the so-called Sikh channels and you know so-called Sikh community related channels. Independent media is the only way to connect to people and raise your voice within our community and through wider public because otherwise there is an attempt clear attempt being made to make sure that uh, there are no such thing as Sikh community whatsoever and uh, BBC has already said on the main uh, radio channel uh, it was Nihal who said uh, Sikhs are nothing just a, nothing more than a cult of Hinduism just a mixture of Islam and uh, Hinduism. So this is the kind of, uh, you know, open attack uh, this institution, uh, which is partly paid by us 
which is doing on uh, to our community. So as a community, we need to strongly condemn and protest and carry a campaign of awareness about the BBC. And there is already a campaign going at the moment. We should all support it. And we should uh, plan protests outside BBC's uh, headquarters whenever we can. We need to get a community together, be as a force. The only way these people are going to listen if we put the boots on the ground, so to speak, in some sense, because... Uh, uh, this is uh, this is uh, BBC as an organization. If I want to speak about it, we know it is a, a institution which has a problem, a huge problem with paraphilia. Uh, there was a guy there, Saville. He ran paraphilia gang in that region for two decades, and the entire entire BBC was aware of his activities. But what did they do? Nothing. So to expect anything good from a completely pedophile uh, organization is bad, but the, uh, it's ludicrous. But the thing is, this institution need to be dealt with by the community at a political level because they can't, because at the end of the day, they are receiving our money. Majority of, uh, you know, are licensed TV license funds their activities so we have to think about it in two ways either we collectively stop paying and uh, you know because it's not worth paying to watch pedophile organization portray their nonsense paraphilia on you know on TV anyway but uh, as we have to decide as, as a community to deal with this institution because there is a deliberate attempt being made to make sure that uh, oh there is no such thing as Sikhs at all and that's five months of protests right outside Dining Street completely being ignored uh, by the mainstream UK media that the one which is paid by the public and Sikhs are part of that public you know, there's a million of us paying, you know, X amount of money towards this channel being running. So I think Sikh communities seriously need to think about uh, what they need to do with their money. And that could be better spent elsewhere, at least uh, in an institution which doesn't demonize you as extremist terrorists and says there is no such thing as Sikhism. It's just a, a little bit of mixture of everything just like uh, their radio stations and uh, channels have been portraying. So. We have to get our act together on this, uh, do a political campaign, and if need to be, we need to put uh, our, our boots on the ground, so to speak, and uh, uh, protest has to be done against this institution in the front of this, uh, you know, this little hall of paraphilia, they call it, the institution of uh, BBC headquarters. So I urge the entire community to start a campaign which already been started to support this campaign and carry this campaign on until we because without raising awareness we are not going to get anywhere and without making noise nobody going to care who you are so i urge everybody to support this ongoing campaign to get a fairer hearing from the channel we as the public pay for and uh, I urge all communities who uh, feel there have been all people who feel that there has been unfair coverage now they've been demonized to work with us so we can all work together to get a fairer result. Wahiguruji ka khalsa. Wahiguruji ki fatih.